Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Bay and welcome back to another episode of Blotion Crypto. So I've got a real good one for you all today. You can get HQ7 in less than one day, starting with a fresh base. Now stay till the end of the video so you can understand exactly how that's possible, because there is quite a few details. And I just want to do a big shout out to everyone who's recently subscribed to the channel and everyone who's been for a long time. It really means a lot to us and we just want to say thanks. So without further ado, let's jump right in. I want to play. So you can see I'm already HQ7. I've got mirror maxed. I've been working on my walls. I've still got a lot of defenses and things to upgrade. But the way to get HQ7 in less than a day is through the missions. So you might realize that when you're in the missions and I'm up to 58, there isn't even a reason for me to finish any, finish them right now. So these give the best loot. Now you only need one star to actually get all the loot and complete the mission to essentially move on to the next one. So all you have to do is essentially farm the missions. So you can do HQ all the way up to HQ5, going from mission 1 to 32, 33 to 30, uh, 45 is HQ6, and then 45 up into the 50s is HQ7. Now, the first time you do this, it definitely takes uh, a little bit of practice, you know, so maybe your first account, it might take you longer than a day to do it, but you do get a two-day shield when you first start the game. So you're actually able to get, you know, 48 hours. What, you can use that shield to just kind of farm through the missions. And I've got guides on Twitter and stuff with all the video breakdowns and stuff so you guys can see the individual missions if you want. But I just want to give you a good example here. We'll pick kind of a harder one and kind of show you how simple it can be. Most of the time, you can just spam sky fires. There is a few that are a little bit harder and you have to really time things well. But I'll give you a good example here. We don't even have to use our mirror. So I'm just going to drop about half of the sky fires right here on this archer tower. I'm going to send the other half over here. And yes, it can take a little bit to kind of figure out the pathing, but basically all you're doing is you're figuring out what's the easiest route to get to the headquarters and take that path. You don't have to destroy the entire base. So you can see my sky fires are already working in you know, they're going to get this turret. They're going to pull mirror here in a second, but there's just so many of them that it doesn't even matter. So pull mirror, take down the mirror, going back on the headquarters. And there we go. And now you essentially just leave the mission. Now, like I said, they're not all this easy, but this is just a good example. Usually what I do is I make sure to have a bunch of Skyfires with me when I'm trying the next mission to try to figure it out. You do want to level up your troops based on what you need. So for example, because we know we're using a lot of Skyfires, obviously I want to make sure I'm always upgrading my Skyfires. Um, the rally points are really important too, because obviously as you're progressing your HQ, you want to make sure your rally points you know, are upgraded and built because it's going to give you access to more troops. I want to play. You can also um, work on your oil a little bit, but I don't necessarily recommend it. Really what you need is your gold storages because the max capacity at a previous HQ level is what's needed to go to the next. So for example, at HQ5, you need to max all your gold storages in order to have the capacity to go to HQ6. So really we're just looking at Gold storage is being maxed, armies camps as high as possible, and then upgrading your troops. Now, there is an argument not to necessarily level Mira right away. So when you get Mira at HQ4, she's just level one, and she regenerates in a minute. So you can kind of redo the missions over and over again. What I found was helpful is when you got to HQ5, you can get her to level 10, but then you have to wait 10 minutes for her to heal. So try to actually keep her at level one for as long as possible doing the missions because it's going to let you rinse and repeat them a lot faster. So little pro tip there for you guys. Don't level the mirror until you absolutely feel like you have to. Now there's a caveat with that. When you go up HQ, you usually have a ton of oil because you just farmed all the gold that you need. 
So dump it into some of the troops upgrades. And what sometimes can be good is putting it all into mirror. So like I said, just be careful there because if you do level up the mirror, it is you're, you are gonna have to wait for her healing between going between each of the missions and kind of moving up. So I just kept her at level one for as long as possible. And I think it wasn't until like the 40 somethings that I felt like I actually had to get her up a little bit just to help with a few things with the missions. So that's the trick guys. And then once you get good at the missions, like let's say you've kind of gone through all of them on one account well on your next account or next base it's a lot easier and it just keeps becoming easier as you get more proficient with the missions but definitely check out the uh, video guides that we have because we break down each mission one by one if you're not already in our discord you know and actually people in bog were able to get these video guides even sooner than we posted them online so there is an advantage there to being in the alliance but definitely check those out come in the discord ask us for help if there's any mission that you're stuck on we'll be happy to help you and i hope this guy this really helped you guys out so now you can get to hq7 way faster and you don't have to struggle so much on the battles well thanks so much we'll see you all in the next video cheers <laughs>